Oh, this is a great match. One, two. Here we go. We're at 119 pounds. Two Utah wrestlers here at the Rumble. Cade Moss and Trevor Swed. Well set program and then a second great Bingham wrestler here. And uh, how's this one look to you, Brent? Well, I think you're right. These are, this is the first time we get to see Wasatch now and in, uh, in here in the finals. Second time we get to see Bingham. Two quality programs. I bet these. I'm, I'm willing to bet that these kids are wrestling. The, you know, the best kids in the room when they're in there. Well, Wasatch is a great program. Uh, one of the top ten teams in the nation. No surprise that they're leading here. We're going to watch a lot of Wasatch uh, wrestlers before we're finished. Once again, here we go, fighting for position. Good hand fights. Uh, Moss in there with that good two-on-one to the Russian. S sweat, no slouch, knows what to do. Fighting in there for a good head position, trying to come up there, and we get a stalemate call as they return back to the, the center of the mat, beginning out of bounds. And Sweats is returning state champion too here, so I think Cade's got his hands full if he's gonna if he's gonna walk away with the uh, state uh, the championship here in the Rumble tonight. But no slouch though, you know. Cade Moss has been to the been to the state championship too. He knows what this is about. Knows what Rumbles are about. Knows how to how to handle himself here in the tournament. Well, you're looking at two two returning state champions. Moss was the uh, 103 pound 5A state champion last year, and Trevor Sweat was the 103 pound. 3A state champion. Stalemate once again. As we watch the action. Coaches are telling Moss he's got to he's work. He's got to work. I want him to see a little more action inside there. He's tied up. 30 seconds to go. Fighting for position. No, we never want to give something away early, early in the first period. Well, when you get two good ones, they're going to stay with it. Uh, like that bind, what they're trying to do is to bind, stop any motion from the other guy, and then and then move off of that own bind into your own motion. And they're both good at it. They both do a good job. They're working at it. So here we go. 15 seconds left. First round. Yeah, both these both these wrestlers featured a Tuesday night in the All Star All Star Wrestler. Both both won their matches. Obviously not not wrestling them uh, each other, but both of them wrestling tough kids. Tough kids here. You know, Brent, what's fun about the Rumble is the quality of kids that get here. We've got we've got teams from uh, Oregon, no, not Oregon this year. We've got Washington, we've got Idaho, we've got uh, Nevada, we've got Wyoming. And, of course, a good showing here from Utah. But, you know, wherever we go, the Utah kids always, always show very well. That's true. Well, that's true. they don't just bring in slouch programs, too, in here. They've got, you know, these Deer Park and... Uh, Cedro Valley from Washington and Bishop Gorman and Spring Creek from Nevada. I mean, these guys are all, you know, top 15, top 15 schools here right now. So they're 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 fighting, they're hanging tough with these kids, and and it shows the quality of the programs here in Utah as well to be matched up with such good programs and do so well. Sweat does a nice Gramby roll, front Gramby roll, gets him out, earns a one point, and uh, he's now on the feet. And there we go, back into that. Control the arm, bind, work for position, create angles and take a shot. And uh, we're on our feet again. You know, you, know you, watch, you watch Trevor wrestle and he's got, it's a kid who's got some age and got some experience. You watch him, when he puts his back, he puts his back to the back, of, to the outside of the mat. So Moss comes after him. He, he can get out and get away. Sweat in on a great, great fireman's carry, countered by Moss. Sweats back in, tries to change off to a double leg. Cade does a great, great counter there. Now we're on the edge of the mat, looking to gain control, keep the wrestlers in. Moss is staying close on the edge, trying to stay inside. As long as the supporting points of one wrestler are in, obviously we're going to continue to keep wrestling. And there he steps out. We go out of bounds, no change, but that was a great flurry. There was some good wrestling right there. Excellent counter by Moss. Looked like he was in some serious trouble there, but he was able to, like you say, be able to counter that, get his weight, get his weight up, and, and get away from that. That's the indication of a really solid wrestler when you can, when you can take as deep a shot as Sweat took, maintain that position and not allow the takedown. That's pretty solid, pretty good wrestling from Mr. Moss of Bingham High School. About 25 seconds left here in the. Here in the second period, one nothing for Sweat. So. Boy, they do a good job. They're staying, they're staying extended out. 
They're trying to maintain the wrestling. And there's a stall call by Trevor Sweat. He's got to watch himself now. He has to watch himself now. Gets the warning on the first one, but the second one's a point. And that can, going into with a whole other period left, that could be costly if he doesn't watch himself. Well, there we go, the end of the second round. What Moss is doing a good job of is keeping pressure on Sweat. And Moss now takes the down position. And he's looking for the stand up, get that one point, even this thing back up. So here we go. Sweat begins and referee starts. And we'll get a chance to see how well Sweat does on top. He hasn't been on top at all yet this, this match. No, Moss needs the one to even it up. Good hand control and there we go. Well, in six minutes of wrestling, we're going to be on our feet about, what do you say, 5.30. Just about 5.30. Didn't, no one held anyone on, their, on the mat at all. But again, this is, this is again where, where Trevor's going to have to be careful. He's already starting to back up and trying to get out of, you know, kind of got that, that head and arm in there. He's got to watch out. He's, he needs to circle, not back up. If he backs up, they're going to give him the point. Well, and there we go. That's a stalemate call. You won't see that. You know, if they, they tie that up again, Always a stalemate, repeatedly stalemate can be construed as stalling, but you know, hey, we're in a third round of a championship round and we got a 1-1, it's anybody's game at this point. It's really, is who's going to control that head, who's wearing down, conditioning's not going to start to become a factor, and who can create the angle and get that shot. I think we're going to come down to a great shot here at some point. That's what, ho that's what the coaches in the corners are hoping. Certainly, 60 seconds left here in the third period. 60 seconds to see who, who we crown the champion at 119 here at the Rocky Mountain Rumble. Both, both of them got great condition. I mean, they're both going at it. It's not like anyone's leaning. It's They're going at it hard here. Another stalemate, two in a row. They keep blocking up, and not nobody wants to give up anything. There's a good shot by Sweat. Oh, now Cade gets a stall call. So they've both been called for not making things happen. There's an angle. There's an angle. Cade's got it. Can he bring him in for the takedown? Oh, nice counter. Nice counter. There's two right there. There's the takedown. You know, that was excellent work. You saw. I don't know if you saw that elbow come down, but he just blocked Sweat coming in on that fireman's carry. And once he got away, hoping for that Grammy, but that was the last second. Last second hope there. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds here. This is excellent wrestling by two really quality wrestlers. Watch it, watch it. Watch it, watch it. Watch it. 20 seconds. The kid's going to need to watch that Grammy. Once he gets those hips exposed, he needs to watch that Grammy because otherwise, there it is, there it is, there it is. Cade followed it slow, trying to catch him. Got a, got a half in there. Three seconds, two seconds, one. Cade Moss, 119 pound champion here at the Rocky Mountain Rumble tonight. But this was one of the best matches we've seen so far. Definitely. Excellent, excellent wrestling on their feet. If you want to build your wrestling program, you need to take a moment and visit this website. Discover for yourself why Championship Access is wrestling's most effective teaching tool. Multi-camera angles let you choose audio, video, and text images that teach and train wrestlers and coaches. Interactive sports training on CD and DVD platforms. There is nothing as affordable or effective. Visit www.usasports.tv to see for yourself.